All right, men, let's give this a shot. This is a Patreon request. Welcome to the Alpha Male Podcast. We talk about what it means to be a man the right way with God at the center. Judeo-Christian values and real-world first-hand experience. Now, today is going to be on kind of shooting 2.0. I got a question from a patron about natural point of aim, NPA, and how that plays into pistol versus rifle. And it's kind of that next level of shooting, and that'll become apparent when I talk about it, because you have to have a baseline. You have to have your fundamentals and everything set. If you don't, you're not really going to know what's wrong and how to fix it with your natural point of aim. Before I get started, all weapons are always loaded. Never point your weapon at anything you're not intending to destroy. Keep your finger straightened off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Know your target and consider its background. This is my training magazine. I will do a press check just to make sure I was just dry firing. But again, press check. There's nobody behind the camera, so there should be no issues with that. I'm actually going to aim at the camera, and hopefully that works for a natural point of aim. Now, my natural point of aim kind of means that my resting natural stance, my gun is pointed at the target. I don't have to do any kind of musculoskeletal thing to get my gun pointed back on target because what's going to happen is I get fatigued or as the gun recoils or something like that, it's going to come off target. <clears throat> Again, this is a little bit higher than just your basics of shooting your fundamentals. But we have to go over the fundamentals because that's the foundation, right? So talking about the foundation, what are my feet doing? Are my feet in the proper stance? You have to know what your normal stance is so you know if there's something wrong with it. Then what are my knees doing? Knees should be slightly bent. Weight should be on the balls of your feet, right? Like you're ready to run forward. What are my hips doing? My hips should be back, right? It shouldn't be like this. It should be back. Nice and balanced. What is my diaphragm doing, right? It should be tight, not clenched, but tight. It shouldn't be all loose. It should be a tight diaphragm. What are my shoulders doing? Shoulders should always be relaxed in shooting. That's one of the number one things I see with new shooters. They get way too tense. Relaxed in the shoulders. And then as we come out of the holster, what is my grip doing? Right? You have to know what a good grip is to know if your grip is messed up. And then I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to go out, aim at the target. All right. And I was a little bit off to the left there. So now I have to go back and analyze what was I doing wrong. A couple of things that could be wrong, but since I was dry firing earlier today, I probably know that I'm not giving tension soon enough. I'm not meeting my hands together soon enough when my left hand comes together. Let's try that and see how that affects my natural point of aim. Nice. Remember that much better definitely on target it was a little bit low let's try it again this time bringing my hand in at the same time but rotating my wrist forward if you don't know you want your support hand rotated forward that's going to give you more torque it's going to help control the gun under recoil but the degree that you torque that is going to affect your natural point of aim up and down so let's try that close my eyes get that good feel that proper tension. Open my eyes. Still low. Let's try it again. Nice. Remember that. Remember that. Actually, I heard that telling yourself to remember something actually helps you remember it. So you want to remember what that was. You want to play that back in your mind. What is everything doing? What are your eyes doing? What are your hands doing? What are your forearms doing? Your shoulders, your back, your diaphragm, your hips, your knees, your feet, all that. So now I know my natural point of aim. And that should be the way the gun naturally comes up right on target. Beautiful. That's natural point of aim for a pistol in a nutshell. The other part of that is, once I get that proper aim, right, I should be able to close my eyes, take a breath, natural respiratory pause, look back at my target and be back and still be on target. Again, because I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not forcing the gun on target. That's where it naturally wants to be. 
right? Another quick tip for this, once you get your natural point of aim down, go in reverse and remember what it's like. Do as few steps as you have to do to get that gun back in the holster, right? I can get it. Do as little as you can do. Shooting fast, which will come as part of this, this natural point of aim helps shooting fast. It's not about moving really, really fast. You have to do that too, but it's doing as little as possible. It shouldn't be any extra movement in getting that gun bang on target. All right. With that, hopefully you enjoyed this natural point of aim presentation, period of instruction, whatever you want to call it, visual podcast. That's pretty much a tactical tip in and of itself. But for that tactical tip, remember, when you get your good draw down, your good natural point of aim, don't just focus on getting out on target. Focus on how you go back, right? It's the same movement in reverse that will help your draw. And your tactical verse of the day, how could it be anything other than Psalm 144? Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. With that, men, thanks for listening. Have a blessed day.